wait on Sandy Sandy Life. Um, first of all, I'm going to share my story. I'm going to share my experience with the IUD. And then after I shared my experience, I'll go ahead and um, ask a few questions. I ask Sandra some few questions and then we'll take it from there, okay? So Sandy Sandy Life will be joining us very soon. I reached out to Sandy because um, she also was on birth control and also she has fantastic experience to share with us okay and if like a year ago i wouldn't have been so confident to share my story but i believe that sharing is caring like i believe that whatever we go through when we share it gives someone hope and someone the opportunity to know that oh i'm not in alone you know because sometimes you may be going through some things and you may think that you are in alone you know, but when you actually share your, your experience, your thoughts and everything, then you get to know that you are not in alone. Like whatever you are feeling, somebody is also going through the same thing. Okay. So today I'll be sharing my experience both on the IUD and the implant because I went on the implant when I had my son and then I went on the IUD when I had my daughter. So I have both experiences. I have unique experiences on both um um, both deliveries. So I'll be sharing my experience using both contraceptive and we'll go from there. When I had my son, I'm going to start with the implants, okay, because I want this life to be very short. So guys, I want to let you know that this video, we are not trying to discourage um, the use of birth control. By this video, we are also not going to suggest which birth control you can go on. We are only sharing our experience. We are only sharing our experience because, because maybe somebody is on the same birth control we are on and the person is going through the same symptoms we went through. So by this video, we are not um, trying to impose on you what and what you should not do because everybody, everybody's body is different. So feel free and um, share your thoughts, share your experience, but you definitely have to speak to your doctor about it before you make the decision. So I'll first of all start by um, the implant. So when I had my son, okay, um, you know, when you, when, you, when you have a baby, six weeks after you have the baby, you have to go in for a checkup. So when I went in for the checkup, the doctor asked me if I want to go on any birth control. At that time, I had no idea what birth control is. And I also am very, very naive when it comes to calculating your monthly calendar. So for me, I realized that my only way out was to go on family planning. And I had, <clears throat> I had just enrolled with the University of Ghana for my master's program. So for me to be able to plan my life and to space the kids, I decided not to, you know, allow circumstances or anything to come. Then I'm in school and I'm pregnant. So I really, really wanted to go on the family planning. So there was this lady in my church I spoke to, and she told me that she has the implant, which is the one they put in the arm. So she advised that I can actually go on the implant. So a friend of mine, she's called Lydia. Me and her, we both, you know, after delivery, we all delivered in September. So six weeks that is 40 days after delivery, we all went on the implant. What I knew about the implant is that the side effect is um, you, it's hormonal and you gain a lot of weight. Okay, so for me, going on the implant, I gained a lot, lot, lot of weight. I gained a lot because um, the hormones and everything, I was craving for food here and there. Naturally, I'm a heavy eater. I eat. Okay, but this implant kind of skyrocketed everything. Like I will crave for food like something. So I went on the implant and I went for the five years one. So the five years one is actually called the implantum, right? So they, I went on that one and then um, I gained a lot of weight. But when I took it off, when I came to the United States and I took off the implant, I wanted to have another child and I didn't know that when you take off family planning, it takes a very long time before you can conceive again. So when I took it off, it took about a year before I could have another child. And that moment, that stretch was very, very frustrating, like very, very frustrating, like loving months of constantly expecting that you are pregnant and you are not. At that point, I was like, wow, 
is it like that is it am i going to have only one child or is the side effects from the implant it was later when i went to my doctor and my doctor explained to me that it is not because um there's something wrong with me or there's something wrong with my husband but it's because of the implant i went on and that be before the implant can wear out it has to take a number of months so it actually took close to a year before i could conceive my daughter now when i had my daughter i also wanted to go on another family plan and this time around i didn't want to go on the implant so i went straight on the iud and the iud i went on was the marina a friend actually recommended um, the copper IUD, which is Paragard. But when I went to the doctor, the doctor was like, no, Paragard, you have heavy bleeding and you would, <clears throat> you will be cramping throughout. So why don't you, um, why don't you do the Marina? So I was like, okay, you delivered me. You are my gynae. You know best. Okay, so Sandra was so... <laughs> Sorry, Sandra. <laughs> this is my first time I'm doing a live video. So, oh, yes, yeah, Sandra is on now. Oh, okay. God. Thank Just you when for I joining. decided to come on this kids. Yes. <laughs> Thank you for joining. I'm sorry I'm late. I had to sort them out. I hope you're all doing Can great, you all ladies. hear Sandra? Yep. Okay. okay. Yeah, so Sandra, I was sharing my experience with the implant, and then um, I've come to the IUD after I had my daughter. Okay. So, so um, Sandra, um, everybody, this is Sandra, Sandy, Sandy. Like, she's a YouTuber, and she's also a, a Facebooker. How do I even say? Like, I'm a Facebook is, influencer she, she as well. She's very, very resourceful. She has good content on her YouTube channel. So guys, if you don't know Sandra, just hop on her channel after this video and follow her, watch her. She's amazing. She has interesting video. And Sandra, your video about your child, it was so emotional that I was like, oh my God, women, we go through a lot. We go through a lot in delivery. We go through a lot even after delivery. And we go through a lot years after delivery. We have to protect ourselves from having unplanned children. So... Thank you so much for joining me on this live. Okay. Thank you so much for having me. So I'm going me. to continue with my story. So when I, I had my daughter, the doctor was like, oh, in plan on, um, Paragard is no good for you. Paragard, Paragard is not going to help. You have heavy bleeding and cramping. So why don't you go on the marina? So I went on the marina. It's called La Letta or whatever. It's marina, you see. And then when I had my, my daughter, I lost weight drastically because I was drinking a lot of water and I had a very big stomach when I was pregnant. Everybody was like, your baby, are you having triplets? I lost a lot of water after I delivered. So when I came home, I was drinking water. I was drinking water. Like in a day, I can drink 20 bottles of water. Wow. So that made my weight to come down. Like after delivery, my weight was like 292 pounds. That was before I had my daughter. After delivery, I dropped from 292 to 250 pounds. Before childbirth, before I got pregnant, my weight was 240. Before I got pregnant. So 240 to 292. And then after delivery, I dropped my weight to 250. Then I went on the IUD. When I went on the IUD, my weight started going up again. I knew that going on the marina is hormonal. So you have weight gain, which was a problem. Sandra, my problem with the IUD, honestly, personally for me, was not, was not about the weight gain. Because for me, I knew that I could work out, control my food and all that. But so for say, if, what, if, what, if I what you made me to go and take off the, um, the IUD was the fact that it got me very, very emotional. Like... It got me very depressed. I will have morning sickness when I wake up. Like, I will feel so if depressed I get you right, and did so you lose down. Weight? Did you lose weight? Exactly. As if somebody in my family had died. Like, it was so bad, like, so terrible that I could not, not, not control it, Sandra. So, because of that, I decided that, no, enough is enough. I woke up one day and I told myself, look, I'm not going to go through this again. Because, um... 
on a regular day, I'm somebody who is very bubbly, lively, and all that. You know, I'm a sanguine. I like to be happy. I like to have, I like to be happy. I like to be free spirited. But going on the marina, I felt like I was being suppressed by some, I don't know how to explain it, but every day I wake up moody. I wake up very um sad. You know, from, there was a day I posted on my um, Instagram stories. I was telling people that, look, I'm very sad. I'm very emotional, but I don't know what is wrong with me, you know. And I hopped on YouTube and I realized that, oh, my God, this could actually be from the family planning I'm on. And I didn't know. There was a day I cried for two days nonstop. Ooh. And my husband asked me, what is wrong with you? Wow. And I'm just making up stories. I can't really tell exactly what is wrong with me. All I know is that I'm very sad and I can't do anything, you know. So this is my experience. This is what I went through. Sandra, I want you to share your experience with us. I want okay. to know from you because you've also gone through this. I want to know from you, was that like your decision, like what informed your decision to go on the family plan? Okay. So first of all, um, I had my first child in 2015. Um, I had him just after getting married and everything was fine. So I did my first family planning by doing exclusive breastfeeding and it worked perfectly. So all that while I thought exclusive breastfeeding was, you know, a viable <laughs> Um, family planning method. So that is what I did with my first child. I did exclusive breastfeeding. And then after one year, when my child stopped breastfeeding, I um, I did the dates. I did, I used the safe period method. Okay. Um, I don't really remember because it's been a while I did it, the calculation. You know, when you have your safe period and when you're not safe. So that's what I did for the next year. And then after two years, I had my second child which was planned okay then after having my second child i thought this breastfeeding business was going to work again and i started again exclusive my son wasn't taking any formula he was fully breastfeeding and he was breastfeeding exclusively and before i knew it and i wasn't even you know i didn't have my menses at the time so i felt everything was okay and before I knew it, I was sleeping too much. I was, you know, <laughs> I was so weak. I, I couldn't wake up on time to go to work. Like everything was bizarre. So I just went to my wardrobe, found one of my old test kits, and I tested. Lo and behold, I was pregnant. And my boy was only seven months old for C. I just wanted to cry. I was like, what? My son is only seven months. He's literally just learning how to sit. And I was pregnant again. And it wasn't even long after his naming ceremony. So it was so exactly. bad. It was so bad. Like, if, if you haven't watched the video on my channel, you should watch it about how, how I took it. By the end of the day, I had my baby with so many complications. By the end of the day, I had the baby. So once I had the baby, my doctor said, you know what, Sandra? If I leave you again, you're going to get pregnant in six months. So please. She gave me the options. She told me I can either do the marina or I can do the coil or I can do the tablets. She gave me four options, marina, coil, tablets, and then the implant, the one that you put in your hand. So I asked her, what are the side effects? And she told me, oh, with the marina, I'm not going to have menses. I was like, yes. <laughs> I know it's a really silly thing to do. Like, I hate menses that bad. So I was like, if this is not going to make me have my menses, then yes, I'm in for it because... <laughs> Gosh, I don't have to worry about menses for five years. I was so excited. So I told my daughter, I know, forget about the rest of the family planning methods. I'm doing this. I know I did it for all the wrong reasons, but that is what attracted me to actually do the marina. So she told me, I was asking her about the home much. She told me, oh, it's not going to do anything. It's very low dose compared to the tablet. I was like, okay, if it's that bad, if it's that low, then it should be fine. So I had it on. Everything was fine. First month. I was still spotting. I was like, ah, I said, doctor told me that I will not have menses. Why am I still spotting? So spotting means um, you'll be having small, small drops, not actually menses, but you'll be spotting bit by bit. 
So you, you actually need to wear a pad else you saw yourself, but it's not like the actual menses. So this is what happened for like almost seven months. I was still spotting. And when I called my doctor and asked her, she told me, oh, it will, it will keep going down until finally I won't see the menses again. So I kept on waiting and waiting. Now, my symptoms, it is very difficult to notice unless you're somebody who really reads yourself so much, you, you get mood swings, yeah? Things that are not supposed to annoy you might just start annoying you. That is my that is my symptoms. Everyone is different. I remember when I put it on pictures, somebody was like, oh, it's cool for me. I've had it for 10 years. Some people said I've had it for five years. We are all different. So this the experience that we're sharing is our own personal experience. You need to know for yourself. And it's not like I didn't ask anyone. I had friends who were on the marina and they told me it was good. They didn't gain weight. I did do a bit of research, but one thing we don't need to forget as women is that we are all different. You can't compare someone's story to yours. We are all different. Can you all see this double chin? I didn't have this last year, but ever since I had this marina on, I was just gaining weight. And what it does, what it did to my body, it changed my fat distribution. Instead of putting the fat in the right places, I was rather gaining the weight in my belly area and in my face. All the fat was just packing around this area and it was so disturbing. I, was, I didn't realize this till I actually started my YouTube channel and I had to come on camera. I was like, when did that? No, no, this is not cool. So I just casted my mind back and realized that the only thing that has changed in my life ever since is, my, um, is getting on this IUD. So mood strengths, number one, two, Weight gain, I believe it's weight gain because I've done everything possible to lose weight. I've gone on a very, very low carb diet. I do intermittent fasting. I've done it for straight three months and I haven't lost a pound. So finally, finally, I decided, you know what, I'm done. I, what have I been doing all my life till now? I've been using my dates. So that is what I've decided to do now. Yes. So finally, last week, Peaches, I got it off. I'm free now. I've never felt so free in my life. Like <laughs> I feel so free. I feel so normal, and I'm so happy. But firstly, when you take it off, let me speak about when you take it off as well, what happens? You bleed so much. Like, I'm so sorry, guys. This is graphic. Like, you bleed, and you get so many clots. So all I was asking myself, so this is all the blood that was supposed to flow for the past one year. And it has decided to come now. Like, it's been a week now and it won't stop. Like, it's that bad. Yeah, I literally have to use maternity yes. pad. That's how bad it is. The yes. maternity one, not the normal one. So, yeah. But I'm happy. I feel, yeah. Go on. Yeah. Yeah. With me, with me. With me, my blood started flowing exactly a day after. Same so here. So honestly, I cannot tell if that is my cycle or it's just blood, you know. Because when I went on the marina, my blood stopped flowing. But Sandra, you know, as to, as women, we are supposed to experience life cycle, right? Yes. But the marina suppresses that and you cannot have yes. your regular life cycle. Yes. You understand? Yes. So for a whole lot of months that I was on it, no menstrual cycle. And as soon as it I was took it on the next day, I bled for days. You see? How many days was And yours? I can't tell if that is my actual menstrual cycle or I should look forward to another one. How many days was yours? Because mine has been like over a week. Seven days. Stopped. Seven days. Okay. Very similar. Very similar to mine. A lot of people are watching us. Um, people are watching us and they are like, Oh, we want to go on birth control. Somebody actually mm -hmm. said, I'm scheduled to have a birth control, um, IUD or something. What what advice can we give to people watching us trying to you know make informed decisions make informed on decisions. what type of IUD they can get on? Like okay. what 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 do you suggest? What what are you okay. from my experience? Mind you guys, we are not health professionals. We are not doctors or nurses or whatever. We're just sharing our opinion based on what we have been through. 
Now, what I'll say first of all, if you're someone who doesn't have a regular cycle and you have plans yeah. of having kids later, I don't advise you go on any of these things. I do not advise it. Just either use a condom, do the Rejora method. My doctor hates to hear that, Richard. <laughs> you can do the Rejora method. It's called the coitus interruptus. You can either do that or use a condom or use and your date. I'm about the Rejora method because the men are not in support of that. <laughs> It's like we have to go through all the problems, right? <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's either you do coitus or you do condom or you just abstain. Right? <laughs> do something because you don't want this thing to mess up your cycle. And now when it's time for you to conceive, like the way Fosti went through a whole year of trying. This is someone who was very fertile and then she went on the implant and after that it was it was a big tug of war. What I realized is that right after this coil was taken off, the kind of bleeding here, yeah, even after having kids, I didn't have that kind of bleeding. It was that bad. I had to just relax and stay in bed. So my advice, look, look at yourself, know what's good for your body and what's not. Just give anything a try. Listen to your health professional. What, listen to what your doctor has to say. Because me, I listen to my doctor. And she told me I shouldn't worry. If I go home and there's any complication, I should come back, they will take it off. So I have that peace of mind, okay? It is all reversible. It is not a, it is not, it is not a life and death affair. If you do it and it doesn't work for you, please take it off. Maybe some people do not have problem with weight with, with weight loss for me even if i drink water i'll still gain weight so for someone like me i won't i won't encourage the marina because it made me gain even more weight even if it doesn't make you gain weight it will fight against your your um what word should i use it will fight against your efforts to lose weight yeah because I've tried Emotions. everything. I'm just, yes, it's going to fight against your efforts to lose weight. So it's either it's going to make you gain weight or it will make you stay where you are and not lose any weight. But if you're someone who, you know, doesn't gain weight easily, you have a regular cycle and you really want to put a break in your childbirth, go for it. But then again, once you go for it, always check how your body is responding Make sure that you are attuned to your body and make sure that you know whatever is going on. Any little thing, call your doctor and speak to them about your worries. Don't keep it too long, like the way me and Fosti have done. And now I have to deal with this double chain. I don't know when this double chain will go away. Like, it took you two for me to know how bad this marina had affected yeah. me. It was so bad. And then last month, yeah. I was cramping so bad I had to stay in bed. And that is when the thing dawned on me. I was like, no. Because after I had my first child, I stopped cramping. But this marina brought back the cramping into my life. So, yeah, that's my advice. Give it a go. Give it a try. Listen to your healthcare professional. That is what you I would say. brought it back, yes. Yeah. Yes. And after listening to them and you get on whatever you've decided to go on, make sure that you steady your body. Make sure that everything yeah. is on point. If it's not working for you, please look for another alternative. So that's the advice that I've got to give anyone who's considering IUD. And Sandra, um, I'll also add that if somebody is planning on going on the implant, for mm -hmm. me, with my experience with the marina, I think I will choose the implant anytime. Because the only side effect I got from the implant is that it delayed fertility. Okay, so it delayed fertility for a year. So let's say you go on the implant and you want to take it off and have another child. It means that you have to time yourself off. Otherwise, you stress. Like how I stressed and I felt like, is that it? Am I going to have only one child? So if you are planning to go on the implant, just bear in mind. Because the marina is very quick. I'm told that as soon as you take it off, you can get pregnant. Okay. So Sandra, you have to be careful. I also have to be careful. <laughs> so the marina, you can. But with the implant... Um, when I took it off, it took like a year before wow. I had another child. So wow. you have to be psychologically prepared. That's why a lot of people are like, oh, if you go on IUD, you may not have another child. 
a, you have a delayed pregnancy, but it's not like, but like, uh, like you said, everybody is unique. Everybody is different. So you definitely, definitely have to consult your doctor. But sometimes the doctors also don't tell us the side effect. They are all like, because when I took up the marina, they were like, are you sure? Should we order another IUD for you? I'm like, no, I want to heal myself. <laughs> I want to I want to kill myself. Like I feel like I've been possessed by a thing, you know. I want Imagine. to kill myself again. Oh, and God. Sandra, you won't believe it. As soon as they took it off, that day, like within 30 minutes, I could feel myself again. Oh. Like I could feel that something has rolled off me. Honestly, as soon as I take it, I took it off. So this 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 is something like definitely worth sharing and i don't know if people are also going through the same thing i'm very glad that we are able to first quick one and share our experience you have, um, you if there are people something? in the comment section that are asking questions can you please pin it so that we can answer them if, if there are people who have i've seen so many questions in the comment section oh okay. if you can just pin it yeah if you, if you just click on the comment it will, it will pin and then we can answer them Oh, okay. Let's see. Oh, okay. I don't think there's any question. Um, Aisha made a very, very good submission. So if you can let us read that. Oh, okay. So um, let's let's read Aziz's story. Yeah. Okay. If you can't pin, I'll just read it then. Is that okay? okay, good. So if you can do as this is one. Yeah. I'm trying to pin. Um Epa says that I had IUD, it was great. But I had a lot of menstrual bleeding. It can even sew your clothes if you are not well prepared. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. So, um, Sandra, I don't want us to... Um, Make the like video too long. Yeah. To to. Okay, let me quickly read Aisha's story as well. Um, yeah, I've lost it in the feed. Aisha deleted okay. it. Oh, <laughs> okay. So Yawa says she will not be there for long. Okay, so I think that's it. Yeah, I think instead of um highlighting her, I rather blocked her so I don't know. <laughs> Oh, you deleted the message. Oh <laughs> my goodness. You. Okay, no problem. No problem at all. So um the implants, how did they do it? We didn't describe to them how, how it's done or, so that they know what to expect. So I'll I'll speak about how the IED is inserted and then you can speak about the oh, implant. Oh, okay. okay. So the implant they make an insertion in the arm. Which part of the arm? Okay. And then um, once they make that insertion, then they put, there's this, um, like, is it a rod? It's a rod. It's, and it's like in a gun. So they shoot it inside the arm and then they stitch it up. How thick is it? Yeah. How thick is it? And is it painful? Like how thick is the insertion? Yeah. Oh, it's very light. Oh, like. Is it like a I pen? I don't know how to explain it. It's very small. So you can actually feel it in your arm. So is it like a you needle? Use your hand. Is it like uh, a needle? Is it tiny like a needle? Or thicker than a needle? Yes. Yes. Okay. But it's plastic. Okay. Yeah. So they put it there and then they stitch it up. So what the doctor said is that that prevents um, pregnancy, of course. So, so anytime you have IUD or birth control, your body is saying that you are pregnant. So when 
um, sperms are released. So you, all the things, Sandra, we are talking about are symptoms of pregnancy. Oh. Mm. So if you're on IUD, if you're on any birth control, it means you are pregnant for as, <laughs> as how many years as you'll be on. And then one thing I want to talk about is hair loss. My hair started breaking when I went on the marina. Me too. I would you you had the same problem too, right? Yeah, I would wash my hair. So if you watch my YouTube channels, I started doing um how to treat your natural hair, how to you know oh it was because I was losing my hair. Okay. <laughs> so I, had to use I lost hair and then you get a lot of facial hair. hair as well. You get a lot of facial hair as well. Very annoying. Instead of the facial hair being very light, it becomes thicker. So, as growing women, most of us face this facial hair thing, and it becomes worse with the um, with the IUD. Okay, so let me explain how the IUD is done. It's normally just a five-minute appointment, but trust me, it's very, very uncomfortable. It can be very painful as well, depending on how far like after you've had a child how soon you get it in very it painful. can be very very painful oh so it's, it's a t-shape so they insert it the head of the t yes. is inside your womb whilst the 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 tiny the the tiny part of the t is in your cervix so that thing is just sitting there with a little rope hanging out there that's what they normally use to take it out when it's time to go out. So they use they use all their instruments, they open up the cervix, put it in there, and then they release it back, and then it keeps it in place for five years. So that is how it's done. Very, very painful, but taking it off is not as painful as that. Taking it off literally takes about two minutes, and it's much easier taking it off, but fixing it can be very, very painful, yeah. It's not painful, yeah. 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 Taking it out is fine. Fixing it is what I felt a lot of pain. I was shouting crying, but yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Me, when they were taken off, they used the opportunity to do pap smear. So okay. I also encourage people in Ghana because I didn't know anything about pap smear when I was in Ghana. So it was only when I came to America that they are like, oh, you have to do pap smear. So I also encourage ladies who are, you know, young, having had children that try book appointments with your um, doctors to do pap smear because it helps. It helps to see if there are any infections happening around the vagina and all that. So let's try and schedule past me appointment because for here it has to be done every year, once in a year. So that's one tip that I would give out. Okay. There are a few YouTubers questions? in the feed that I would want to shout out. Do so you have out, any questions for us? <laughs> Yeah, they're not asking questions. I don't know why. So Aisha Aziz, I see you. Fix and Gobble TV. Okay. I hope you're doing great. Please support these guys. They're also YouTubers like us, and they're doing so well. Comfort Tampon, I see you. And um, yeah. Epa Worldwide, I see you, sis. She's yes. also another YouTuber. Yes. Yeah. So, guys, the ball is in your court. It's if you're deciding to go on the IUD, yeah, at right. least you have an idea what it Hi, is. Hi, Millicent. I see you. Hi, that's my good friend, Millicent. Thank you. Hi, Millicent. Up, <laughs> that's nice. So, if you're on this feed and you you are um on Tina's channel and you haven't subscribed, as this, I'm so Sandy sorry. Right? I have I put you on timeout instead of highlighting your comments. I'm so sorry oh, about that. that. Yeah. <laughs> so if if you're if you're on my if you are my subscriber and you haven't subscribed to Tina yet, please subscribe to Tina's channel. We do very similar content, okay? We're all Ghanaian YouTubers in the diaspora, so we have a lot to share. And if you're on Tina's channel and you haven't subscribed to Sunday Sunday Life, please do that straight away and let's build and grow together, okay? So Tina, what next have you got to say? <laughs> subscribe, please. Subscribe subscribe okay sandy thank you so much for joining me on this live thank subscribe, you so much for subscribe, having me subscribe. hi fina hi face gobble face and gobble tv your food is amazing so thank you <laughs> all so much oh my goodness <laughs> let's not make it too long so that those who watch after can watch okay and if the questions are not coming for then that's it 
we're ready to answer your questions. If you have questions after the video, just write it in the comment section. Right. And I'll be more than happy to answer you, okay? And also don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. The thumbs up pushes the video to more people. So please give the okay. video a thumbs up, leave a comment and share to all your friends who will have value in it, okay? All right, Tina. So I'll take my leave now. Thank you so much for having me and have a good day, ladies. Bye. All right. Thank you all so much for coming. See you another time in another live video. Bye.